So in the previous video, um, we talked about you created your own Nuxt3 um, authenticated app. And this is a series talking about Nuxt3 authentication using Nuxt IM, Identity and Access Management, which is a new Nuxt3 authentication framework. So we added a database. And now if you want to get some documentation, just go read through all this and it will help you do some other things but also this this series here will help you do the same thing too all right so once we've added our database now we can let's look, take a look at our users table right now as you can see here our users table has nothing there are no users right so let's create a user and the way we do that from the front end is that I'm trying to get back here get out of youtube the way we do that from the front end, we go to register here, you click on that, and then we're just going to create our own, right? So I'm going to just call myself, hey, this is Jeremy, example, and uh, I'm just going to call myself uh, what? Jeremy at example.com, and then password, and then it says here, accept terms and which there's nothing there, but it's designed to help you um, be able to have terms and conditions. You can remove all this, by the way. Everything here is customizable. You can change any single thing you want. I wouldn't mess with the authentication stuff unless you know what you're doing, but yeah. So let's register. All right, successful. Then it takes us to the login page. So we're going to just log in with the same information. And when we log in, see that works, right? So we have a dashboard and you can do whatever you want here with, with your dashboard. And we'll try to get more in depth as the tutorial goes on. So this is my name here, Jeremy example. And the dashboard is the same page. You click on the profile. This is your profile, right? It contains your UUID. If you go to your database and you refresh, you see that we have a user here, and this is me. This is the UU, the unique user identifier. You have the email, you have a password, which is hashed with Argon2, which is currently like the best way to hash passwords, right? We don't have an avatar or permissions, but we can get them, uh, you know, uh, that's for admin stuff. And then uh, you have a general role and uh, is active is one that email is not verified. So Nuxt IM can verify emails as well. So once you have that, this is your profile and you can change your name if you want. Let's say you want to be called Jeremy. I don't know, man. You can uh, update your profile and there it is, Jeremy man example. And then say you wanted to go to settings settings you can change you can update your password here you can also delete your account and so let's just delete their their account usually you'd want to like soft delete it but we can as this framework is built more perhaps we could add that so that administrators can decide whether they want to soft delete or just hard delete soft deletion might be uh, better we already have uh, a space for that called deleted ad, but right now it's not in the code yet. So if you delete your account here, you disappear, right? And if you go back to the database and we refresh, as you can see, that's just, it's gone. It's gone. All right. So, and if you try to say, try to log in as uh, Jeremy at example, com. Hello. Right? It doesn't work. Invalid login. All right. So that's about it. So you have your Nux3 authentication starter kit working. It's built with Bootstrap for the front end. If you go here to the layouts, the layout is like um, this part that you see here. And we, all we do is just change these pages here so it's built with bootstrap 5 and the reason why it was done that way is so that it doesn't bother you with some other things you 
you can change absolutely anything you want here you don't have to use bootstrap 5 but it's built with bootstrap 5 you know and we don't have any css in next come in um package the json that way that you don't force you to either to use bootstrap or to use tailwind which, which is quite popular right now you can use whatever you want so i I'm not sure if the Tailwind classes would uh, fight with the Bootstrap classes. By the way, hey, if you want this Nox3 authentication starter kit, it shows absolutely free. Just click the link below and get it. It shows absolutely free. It comes jam packed with powerful authentication that user registration with email and password, login, dashboard, profile. And this is not just for the front end, it's a back end as well, meaning you can use this as an authenticated API, right? All right, so click the link below this video and I'll see you in the next video. All right, talk to you soon.